this is why we can't have nice things, right? Because there's there's bad apples out there that kind of ruin it for the rest of us. New at 11, a shock for around 200 people participating in a public Zoom meeting of the Indiana Election Commission. Someone managed to broadcast porn onto participants' screens. The security of Zoom and other virtual meeting technology has been under scrutiny since the coronavirus pandemic abruptly canceled in-person meetings and classes across the country. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker shows you whether today's incident could have been avoided. What we saw um, appeared to me as first a pornography clip. A graphic video is not how Rima Shah had expected today's Indiana Election Commission meeting to start. I think we were all kind of frozen in time. Time stood still for that time um, as we all tried to figure out what was going on. Immediately, people taking part in the video chat started tweeting. None of them could quite believe what they had seen. The pornographic video lasted no more than a minute, but of course, everyone was left a little unsettled. I think it took just a couple minutes for, for them to get back into the groove of conducting the meeting, but I do applaud them and their efforts into conducting the business in the meeting in a professional manner, all things considered. I reached out to the election commission to ask if this incident could have been prevented. The response, they can't restrict access because an election commission meeting, even when conducted virtually, is open to any member of the public. For Rima, this incident goes beyond being uncomfortable. I was thankful that my children weren't in the room because usually I'm just sitting with them. Rima wants schools and other organizations to know they need to be safeguarding their Zoom meetings. As a mother, I know that my children, their teachers use Zoom. And that's making me really question, should I email the principal, the superintendent, and let them know that this has happened and what precautions are they gonna take? Because of its popularity as a tool for teaching and meetings now, Zoom has a webpage dedicated to safety tips and security measures like a waiting room feature. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. We reached out to the FBI here in Indianapolis to see if someone could face criminal charges for pulling a stunt like this. At this time, it's unclear, but they are looking into the matter. Despite the interruption, the Election Commission approved several changes today for the statewide primary on June 2nd. Early in-person voting will be available for one week from May 26th through June 1st. Any registered voter can work as a poll worker for any county, and counties are allowed to move polling locations. You can find a complete list of changes at our website, theindychannel.com.